day two of the Booktubeathon. Welcome to Booktubeathon day two! So Josie, how was your reading today? Were you busy doing important adult stuff? Were you off watching kids shows? Or were you reading like a maniac? I had a fairly relaxed reading day today. I managed to get some things done around the house. I did not binge watch anything like I didn't yesterday at all. And I finished another book! Yep, I finished the archive. This thing is actually only 321 pages, which seems actually kind of small, but it was so, so, so good. I have missed this world. I have missed Mackenzie. I have missed the plot. I missed the archive so much. I do not regret rereading this. It's been about two years or maybe a year since I've read this, and it just was like a welcoming hug, bringing me back home, even though the story got really sad at certain points. Recommend 100%. So that means I have two books down. I have read Skinflate and The Archived. Welcome to Booktubeathon Day 2! So Josie, how was your reading today? Were you busy doing important adult stuff? Were you off watching kids shows? Or were you reading like a maniac? I had a fairly relaxed reading day today. I managed to get some things done around the house. I did not binge watch anything like I didn't yesterday at all. And I finished another book! Yep, I finished the archive. This thing is actually only 321 pages, which seems actually kind of small, but it was so, so, so good. I have missed this world. I have missed Mackenzie. I have missed the plot. I missed the archive so much. I do not regret rereading this. It's been about two years or maybe a year since I've read this, and it just was like a welcoming hug, bringing me back home, even though the story got really sad at certain points. Recommend 100%. So that means I have two books down. I have read Skinflate and The Archived. I'm trying to make sure there's no serial killers watching me. Or everyday humans, you know, just normal things. Next I'm going to be picking up The Picture of Dorian Gray. I would go on to The Unbound, but I don't know about you guys, whenever I read a series, I kind of like to break it up. Some people love to marathon and just read five books right in a row. I feel like I need a book buffer to process the story, otherwise I get all of the lines confused. Storylines, not fishing lines. So yes, I'm going to be doing a classic. I read a really crappy YA novel, a really fantastic YA novel, and now I'm going into the works of Oscar Wilde. I feel like I want to say Wilde or Wilde when I read his last name because it's got an E on it. This will complete the challenge of the author whose letter last name starts with your letter last name. That challenge is still really weird to me. But anyway, I'm excited to read this. So yes, how are you doing with your reading? Are you getting the books read? Are you getting the challenges done? Are you liking the books you're reading? So far, I've only read one dud, and I predicted it was going to be a dud, and while it wasn't unbearable, it was still a dud. And then I read Phenomenalness, so I feel like I'm equally balanced. Equally balanced. I have to keep checking for serial killers, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, I am in a new location. Once again, aside from the first day, I did want to film in a different location every day in Booktubeathon. I am at my front door because literally this is the worst apartment to film in ever. Like all of the walls in this place are white, just white. And I don't know about you, but I don't think white is a good background color for filming, especially when you're blonde. It tends to wash me out, although my hair is a little wet right now, so I don't know what color it's taking. So this is where they first realize that they're both keepers, and they're both saying loud things they have been trained to not tell anyone, like, for the past four years. So yes, page 97. My name is Mackenzie Bishop, and I am a keeper. I patrol the narrows. I hunt histories. I return them to the archive. I hide who I am. I fight with the dead. I lie to the living. I am alone. So yes, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a rockin' Booktubeathon day two. Keep reading, even if you're getting far behind. It doesn't matter what your word count is. As long as you are reading and joining in on the fun, that is all that matters. So yes, I will see you later.